Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and today I'd like to talk about a subject that I've been basically avoiding for six years, and I avoided it because I consider myself an optimistic pragmatist, which means I like to keep it happy, but I like to keep it real. And unfortunately, in this instance, keeping it real contradicts with keeping it happy, <laughs> because the subject we're going to talk about is the idea of a Sega Dreamcast 2. Now, if you're not familiar, of course, the Sega Dreamcast is my favorite video game console of all time, by the way. People have hoped since that console concluded that there was some chance Sega would come back and make a new game console. Yeah! I mean, I held out hope for this for years, you know? I mean, and, and if that, for some reason, ever did happen, I'd be right here shitting a brick on camera. I'd be like, you thought my Shenmue 3 reaction was nuts? Holy shit, I would be so stoked uh, if that happened, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's never going to happen. I accepted it a long time ago. That is never going to happen. And I would like to talk about that because there's two reasons in particular that this has become an issue more so lately. Because like I said, for years, people have left comments on my channel saying, hey, can you sign this petition? Can you sign this petition? Can you talk about it in a video? Can you do this? Can you do that? And lately it's gotten much worse because of two things. One, the success of the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter, which we'll talk about in a bit. Not the Kickstarter itself, but why that matters. And, uh, of course, that recent interview with the president of Sega of Japan, where he talked about wanting to make Sega better. Okay, we'll talk about that in a bit as well. But uh, here's the thing, guys. For anyone out there who wants this thing to happen, like myself, you just have to understand that it's just not feasible. And this comes from a guy who, I know, adamantly defended the idea of getting Shenmue to punch its way out of a grave. I know. And I'm telling you, you got to go after your dreams, you got to have to hope and, you know, be excited and go after these type of things. But this one is just too far out of our reach. And here's why. Game consoles, good ones, like traditional ones, the ones you think of most of the time, the successful ones, the Xboxes, the Playstations, Nintendo hardware, even conventional older Sega hardware, etc. They cost billions of dollars in R&D, marketing, publication, distribution, game development, uh, all that stuff. You know, I mean, even things like having to repair the consoles when they're damaged, having to get, you know, like, insurance on certain things and file certain patents. Like, like, there's so much money that goes into a game console that it's just, it's just flat out wrong to think that Sega is ever going to go back to that. A lot of people think Sega is dead, which is not true. The truth is that Sega is actually, they're doing very well. They are, uh, of course, mostly focused in Japan now, where they have, uh, they mostly focus on Japanese pachinko machines, which is all the influence of the Sammy Corporation. See, they merged with them in 2004, and that is where the Sega that we know, that we love, that we grew up on, the Sega that you have nostalgia for, that's when they died. Because when they merged and became Sega Sammy Holdings, that they mostly started going in that direction, focusing on Japanese pachinko machines and uh, toys and all those kinds of stuff. And that's where 90% of their money comes from. 90% from Japanese pachinko machines. And over the years, they've whittled down their game development more and more and more and more and more to the point where they're at now, which is they pretty much just like make Sonic games and even now Sonic Angry Birds crossovers. The Sega we loved doesn't exist anymore. At least not yet, when we'll talk about that in a moment. But, uh, so they're, they're around the $4 billion mark, which is awesome. That's great. But that's... With the how much consoles cost, if they actually did that and it didn't succeed, which would be highly likely, then that would be it for their company. They're not going to do it. It's just not how it is. Especially for a company that doesn't even really care about games anymore. It's just silly to think that would happen. And I know this is where people go, well, Kickstarter? Kickstarter? Work for Shenmue? Kickstarter? Kickstarter got Shenmue 3, $6.3 million, which was amazing for that game. And some would say, not even enough which is why there's going to be things like the PayPal option that should increase the funding. But that's a single game. It's not a console. Consoles are much more expensive. I mean, there are aspects of consoles that would blow your mind. But the thing is, most consoles never even turn a profit. They make most of their money back from the games. The actual hardware is always a failure, which is why Sega originally just decided to go with third-party development because they could make more money doing that. And they just didn't have the money to withstand doing hardware anymore. It's a much more expensive medium. Especially for a concept 
that is pretty much on its way out. I think PC and mobile is more likely to take over. And this, as a strictly console gamer, that sucks for me. But, you know, I made a video on that a couple years ago and it still seems to be holding true, but it doesn't matter right now. So my point is, as much as excited as we would be about this whole thing and maybe getting, you know, a Kickstarter involved to save the Dreamcast 2, you're just simply never going to raise the kind of funds you would need. Not by a long shot. And I know people will point out, what about the Ouya though? The Ouya was a console and it was on Kickstarter. The Ouya got $8 million, which was nice, but what did it give us? It gave us this out-of-date, digital-only little box that by the time you received it, it was older than your phone. That most people ended up not even liking. I never even got one because it was digital only. I know people who did get it who fucking lost the damn thing. And I remember seeing them at Best Buy and Target on clearance bins, and they couldn't get rid of them. You can't get a relevant console to come through Kickstarter. And you're not going to get it with a 55,000 signature petition either. I'm sorry. I would love it. Believe me, I would. I would be the first person up here to be just going bananas for it. But it's just not practical to think that's ever going to happen. And I know other people will, of course, point out, but, but you heard, you said it yourself, you know, Sega of Japan, their president, he was in an interview. And he was. What he said was that he knows, he basically admitted that he knows they suck as a game developer. He knows that they've lost their way. And they're going to work on it. And that they have some sort of announcement for us at TGS, Tokyo Game Show. And very likely that all that is, is just some game. Which is nice. It's good to see Sega going in a good direction. But to think that they're just going to jump out with a console is pretty extreme. Uh, for all the reasons previously stated. I would hope that, that a game in the right... If they want to take a step in the right direction, the game would be a physical version of Yakuza 5. Or a, a westernized physical version of a Yakuza 0. Or a lot of those Yakuza games. Bring them on over to the west. That would be awesome. Or, of course, Shenmue HD. <laughs> Tee -hee, I would love that so much. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I swear I'm not going to go off on Shenmue, but that would be great. I just hope it's not something like fucking Sonic 06 10th Anniversary Edition. Which, how fucked is that to think about, by the way? Next year, 2016, will be the 10th anniversary of Sonic 06. Feel old yet? Well, oh, not yet. You don't. Okay. Sonic <laughs> was a first-party character from 1991 to 2001, 10 years. He has been a third-party character for longer. See, he's been a third-party character basically since 2002. So for almost 15 years, Sonic has been third-party. He was only really first-party for 10 years. <sighs> right? Yeah, now you feel old. I am sad inside, I know. And I know that sucks. I don't like to make people feel sad. I don't like to feel sad. And that's why I didn't really want to do this video. I've been avoiding it for years. But because of so many people asking lately, like, what my take is on it, here it is. There's never going to be a Dreamcast 2. And even if there was, even if Sega came back with some new console, they'd never call it the Dreamcast 2. Come on. Every console they've ever done had some sort of unique name. They were the only guys who never sequelized. SG-1000, Master System, Genesis, or Mega Drive, Sega CD, 32X, Saturn, uh, Dreamcast. They wouldn't call it Dreamcast 2. Who knows what they would call it, but it wouldn't be that. You know, I'm just saying that I get that most people would consider it a working title, but I just don't, I just don't ever see it happening. Not unless some serious management changes have happened at Sega that we don't know about. Then it'd be extreme, but wow, that would be nuts, but no. It, it, even if it does happen, it certainly won't happen through some sort of crowdfunding thing. It's either them doing it or it never happening, and I unfortunately have to think it's, it's never going to happen. But in regards to the other piece of news about... You know, Sega wanting to go in a, a new direction. I like that. That's good. That makes me happy. I just hope they don't fucking let us down. Because even the most diehard Sega fanatics like myself are very open to admitting, like, yes, Sega now sucks ass. And the only thing they've done that was cool in the past, I don't know how many years, was they just gave Yu Suzuki the license to Shenmue without being dicks. Which was awesome of them. But beyond that, they haven't really done anything. And so they don't really deserve our praise currently. They can win us back, I'm sure, and that's hopefully they will do that. Hopefully they will give us reasons to be excited about them again. But baby steps, guys, baby steps. And, you know, if their games are successful, who knows? Who knows what you might see out of them? But Dreamcast 2 through Kickstarter and petitions is not, is not, is not a thing. It's not, focus your efforts on other things. That's, that's just a, a lost cause, I'm afraid. And I, I don't like saying that. I don't. I like to be the guy that says, follow your dreams and do all these great things. But that one, that cause, that, that's 
that's too big. It's too big to go after. The amount of money required for that, unless you literally are Warren Buffett's Bill Gates or George Lucas or someone like that, that one is just out of your reach. If you want a new worthwhile console goal to go after, focus on the Retro VGS. I don't know much about that thing yet, but at least that has a real chance of being something that would appeal to a lot of people and is gonna, you know, happen. Sorry for any sense of negativity. I don't like to bring people down, I really don't. But I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm an optimistic pragmatist and pragmatism doesn't always go with optimism. So that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later.